everyone welcome to discovery natural today i will be showing you a moisturizing deep conditioner that you can use for your hair especially now that everywhere is dry and your hair is pretty much dry and dry hair causes breakage this recipe is very simple because it contains only three ingredients so let's get started the first ingredient that we're going to use is castor oil and I got this castor oil from Ovenova. A lot of castor oils that you see right now, they contain salt, they contain soybean. Check your castor oil. Let me know, does your castor oil have 100% castor oil because that is what you really, really need for your hair. Now castor oil has a lot of benefits to the hair. It helps you with dandruff. It also helps enhance your hair growth by increasing the blood flow to your hair like your blood circulation and that is because it contains ricinolic acid which is one of the key ingredients of castor oil in addition castor oil helps with reducing split ends in your hair and strengthening your hair and because it also contains fatty acid it will help with replenishing moisture loss and also rehydrating your hair I know is that castor oil is really good for your skin i use it for my nails because it helps with my nail cuticle and it helps to strengthen it and it also helps me with my skin to make it hydrated the second ingredient we're going to use is bananas bananas are high in potassium and magnesium which helps improve hair health it repairs damaged hair and detangles hair easily and it also promotes shine one thing is there's a lot of people say that the banana gets stuck in their hair for days so I'm not gonna be using bananas I'm using baby food banana this particular baby food banana does contain lemon in it but lemon is also good for your hair because it contains vitamin c which also helps you with dandruff the last ingredient we're going to use is honey. Honey acts as an emollient for the hair. It is rich in antioxidants and it strengthens the hair follicles. It also contains antibacterial and antiseptic qualities. So now we have our three ingredients. So let's start mixing. You're going to need two teaspoons of castor oil for this recipe. For the honey, you will just need one teaspoon of honey. For the banana, you want to use 4 ounces or 113 grams of banana puree, baby food, and mix it up. Now, if your hair is like my hair, you want to double these measurements and that should be enough for you. And now, we'll go and apply it to my hair. So this is the consistency of the mixture and after I've shampooed my hair, I put this mixture into my hair and when you're putting it, you want to make sure you get all the strands so separate the hair into smaller sections so that you can apply the mixture correctly into your hair. Once you've worked it into your hair, concentrate also at the ends of your hair because that is where your hair starts splitting. What you want to do is that you want to massage your scalp with the castor oil and I'm just going to put the castor oil all over my scalp and then I'll use my scalp massager to massage my scalp and help to stimulate growth that way too. So the last thing you want to do is you want to cover your hair with a plastic bag and use some form of heat if you have it. I use a heated hat and that works great for me. So this is what my hair looks like after I've rinsed all the mixture from my hair. My hair feels soft. There's no residue in my hair. My hair is really hydrating and the way I know that is because my curls are popping. So I love, 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 love my hair. It feels very soft. And I just want to say thank you to Offer Nova for sending me the castor oil. I'm in love and I love that I can use it for my DIY so if you guys are looking for a castor oil as I said that contains 100% castor oil check the description down below and also go to overnover.com and I really appreciate you guys for watching don't forget to give us a thumbs up and a like and we'll see you in the next video